Greetings YouTube. As I've mentioned in the past, I have an extensive library of weapons reference books. I've been interested in weapons for over 30 years, and over the last three decades I've compiled quite a few books that are useful as references for that topic. I in fact have more weapons reference books than the local city library in a town that has like about 150,000 people in it. But I put that collection together rather haphazardly as I stumbled upon them, as I found them cheap, or I got lucky, or people gave them to me because they knew I was interested. So there really wasn't a pattern to it. However, if I were to start that reference library today, I would start it with this book right here. This is from the Diagram Group, um, from St. Martin's Press. And uh, this is the updated edition, and there are copies of this available on uh, you, uh, Amazon right now, uh, used for less than two dollars. So even if you throw in shipping at three ninety nine, for under uh, six dollars, you could have a copy of this book, and it's a fairly substantial book. It's like three hundred something pages. And what I love about this, and why I would put it as the first book in a reference weapon uh, weapon reference library is that it is an overview of weapons technology from stones and sticks all the way up through the modern era. It does not focus on one particular group, but covers things in a, in a fairly shallow degree, but over a very broad span of time. It is also full of very good illustrations. Now, for example, these are reproductions of um, actual historical um, work, and you have some illustrations like this, and they're all done in a very simple pen style, uh, but they're very good in that regard. And like I said, they, they go all the way up through, you know, the, the era of um, gunpowder, and uh, right up until we get into, like, you know, the really modern, you know, missiles and rockets and things like that. Um, and I, I really consider this to be an indispensable addition to anyone who wants to have a good reference library on the topic of weapons and armor. Um, mostly this is weapons. There's a few bits of armor in there um, just because they are related to weapons. Um, and it's a good because it's going to give you the information you need to understand where you want to go next. Where would you like to research further? And then you can concentrate on that particular topic. Uh, do hunting weapons interest you? You, know, you can research, you know, handheld hunting weapons. Is it missile weapons that are that intrigue you? You can research crossbows, bows. Um, is it just specifically swords? Are you into swords? And there are vast resources out there just focused on swords. Um, in fact, there's one uh, text I've got somewhere in my collection that has uh, 20, I think it's 28 different types of pommels just on Viking swords. Just Norse swords, not anyone else. Just 28 different kinds of pommel designs and styles that were created over time in the Norse era. Um, so that you can get some incredibly tightly focused books out there. But this is a very broad book that admittedly it does not go very deep into any particular topic. But I have used it on more than one occasion because it's handy in the, in, the, in the fact that I can grab this book, flip to a particular topic, and get a, get, get a quote or, or just an illustration that will help me prove a point or, or, or illustrate a point um, without having to remember, where is this specific book on crossbows? You know? Um, actually, the crossbow book isn't hard to find in my apartment. But a lot of the other books I have are, because my library is scattered. Uh, but like I said, this is only less than two dollars, and you can get a copy of this book. That's in the U.S. I have no idea, like in the U.K. or or the you know the broader international market. Um, but just in the U.S., that's what it's going for, um, and it's I consider it to be an absolute indispensable book. Not only is it good for people who want to build a weapons 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 reference library, but I think it would also be very useful for people who are into role playing games. Um, any era. This would be very good to give you ideas, to give you an idea, okay, this is the kind of weapon I want my character to play or play with, you know, that kind of thing. Um, just to solve problems for game masters and players alike. So I definitely highly recommend uh, weapons from the Diagram Group. 
Um, this is the updated edition, and it's from St. Martin's Press, and I shall put all that information in the doobly-doo.